Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial on ANSYS and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to use parameters and parametric equation basically and define relationships between different sketches or maybe a uh, model. It is a very useful tool and for this tutorial I'll be taking a L bracket and in an L bracket as as you know one side is very long and the other side is is, sh is, a, is a small compared to that so the length of the long leg is one 1 1.5 times the short short leg and the width is one half of the long leg this is the requirement which we are going to give and accordingly we are going to make the design so let's begin with the design right click and project schematic go for new component system and select geometry in the geometry just uh, name it to L bracket and double click double click on this geometry which is going to open the design modeler and in the design model the first thing which you can do is go for units and select millimeter now we need to sketch the L shape so for that select XY plane right click look at go for a sketching polyline we start from here and we'll draw L shape so we'll quickly draw the L shape so when you want to close the sketch just right click and go for close and now we need to give the dimensions for this one so let's go for dimensions first of all go to display and give the value also now dimensions select general this one this one and this one now this is 25 can take any value uh, it's just for a reference or you can select my values also so the next thing which you can do is go for constraints select equal length like this one this one now my sketch is done need to extrude this one 10 mm and go for generate go for ISO so your sketch is ready uh, now comes the part where I'm going to do the parametric equations so first of all select sketch one and come to this details view and you will see dimensions in this one just check the box and it will give the name parameter name let it be anything or you can name it as you wish so i'm just uh, gonna leave this as the default name so click ok now this d indicates that it is driven parameter that means it will follow the formulas or whatever i'm going to give in the parametric equations so next we are going to select this extrude and select this fd1 parameter name as it is or you can select on your own okay so i have given the command for the uh, the 
I have selected basically the parameters which are going to influence the design and from here what you can do is you can select this parameter and you know this 25 and 10 is perfect so let's go for this parameter or the dimension assignments and this one we are going to assign the we are going to basically assign the parameter relations so select this one generate so yeah go for comment type in bracket relations and then you can say generate then come back here go for xy plane so why we are typing this is we are going to use this one xy plane v1 so this is equals to 1.5 times xy plane dot h2 so h2 is basically as you can see this this part and v1 is this part so i'm assigning my v1 is 1.5 times of this so again go for this length and say generate again extrude because the next uh, next uh, relation is extrude one dot fd one which is let's delete this which is xy plane dot v1 all divided by 2 that is basically extrude part is the extrusion is half of this length v1 so on again select length and click generate now now what we can do is we can come to this sketch one if you assign this h2 as 30 and then go for generate then you can you can uh, you can observe that the whole length and the whole sketch changes because this h2 is related with v1 so every time i change my h2 maybe this thing and when I go for generate, it automatically calculates the other parameters. So this is basically how to use the parameter operations in ANSYS Workbench. I hope you guys like this and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And please leave a like. Thank you so much and peace.